Welcome everybody to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, Episode 65. We are once again inside the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas for Friday Night Smackdown. As the road to next week's Smackdown in Las Vegas, the All-Star Kickoff rolls on. Last week, the World Championship Series kicked off. Tonight, it concludes with all roads leading to next week's four-man elimination matchup. But tonight, on SmackDown, the glorious one, Robert Roode takes on Mustafa Ali. The winner of this matchup, of course, moving on to the four-man challenge next week on the All-Star Kickoff. And plus, in tonight's main event, another World Championship Series matchup, the final of the four. It's the Prince Finn Balor going one-on-one -on -one with a former champion in his own right, the franchise John Cena tonight on SmackDown. Well, let's kick things off inside the AT&T Center. Welcome back to Friday Night SmackDown yet again. And we are opening things up with the World Heavyweight Championship Series. The glorious Robert Roode, officially a part of the SmackDown brand once again. And looking to punch his ticket to Las Vegas, Nevada, to the All-Star Kickoff. Coming up on Friday Night SmackDown next week. Big time implications on this contest. What a way to kick things off. Big fight feel here to kick off Friday Night SmackDown. You are looking at a former NXT champion, a former United States champion, a former tag team champion here in the WWE, but the glorious Robert Roode looking to finally climb to the top of the mountain here and win the World Heavyweight Championship. That is what rides on the line tonight. Of course, last week on SmackDown, we saw Seth freaking Rollins defeat Dolph Ziggler to move on to the All-Star kickoff. Plus, in the main event last week, the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre defeating the almighty Bobby Lashley. So McIntyre and Rollins have punched their tickets to the All-Star kickoff, but two more spots remain. Robert Roode, Mustafa Ali, getting ready to duke it out here on SmackDown, and then later tonight in the main event, of course, as we saw, the Prince Finn Balor, who's coming off a loss last week, gonna go one-on-one -on -one with the franchise player, John Cena. What a matchup that's going to be. But here comes Robert Roode's opponent tonight, Mustafa Ali. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Well, Ali has really rewritten his career throughout this year. Wins over Seth Rollins really dominated the summer for Mustafa Ali. He struggled to really break through to that next step, to really level up to that main event picture, though, these last number of months. A couple of opportunities to become the WWE Champion, a chance to fight for the Intercontinental Championship over on Raw, unfortunately slipping through the fingers of Mustafa Ali. But he finds himself with yet another golden opportunity here tonight. The chance to challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship next week on SmackDown. For Ali, he's got to get through Robert Roode here tonight. It's your opening contest here from San Antonio, Texas. Ali and Roode, World Championship Series qualifier. Rollins McIntyre already patiently awaiting on their way to Las Vegas. Who's going to join them? We're going to find out. The third of four participants right now as we kick off Friday Night SmackDown. Thank you for joining us yet again. And, of course, a big week coming up for the WWE. Of course, on December the 7th, Monday Night Raw. It's going to be Raw Homecoming live from Madison Square Garden in New York City. And it will be a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And then, of course, for Friday Night SmackDown in the next edition, the SmackDown All-Star Kickoff from Las Vegas, Nevada, where we will crown the new World Heavyweight Champion. More matches to be signed later tonight for the All-Star Kickoff, and that will be coming your way Friday night, December the 9th. 5 p.m. Eastern Time as well, a live premiere. Pay-per-view-like quality events coming your way in the next week, but Robert Roode in control of this matchup right now. Wants to be featured in the spotlight in Sin City for the World Championship. But Ali, look at this, nice counter. Goes behind on Roode, pops the hips, German suplex. 
Mustafa Ali trying to bounce back. The last time we saw him inside of the squared circle was on draft night. The Raw after Survivor Series where he lost to a returning Johnny Gargano. So Ali now officially a part of SmackDown trying to make sure that he does not suffer yet another loss. Robert Roode recently returning to the WWE or returning to the main roster, we should say, after a stint down in NXT. Went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the rated R superstar Edge on Monday Night Raw all over a month ago. Now both these men again in part of Friday Night SmackDown after the WWE draft a few weeks ago. Ali getting all twisted up by Robert Roode. Oh, now look at this. Wait a minute, Ali trying to sneak the win. Small package here. Ali trying to move on to the All-Star kickoff. Trying to use the element of surprise to his advantage, but not just yet. As we mentioned, Robert Roode, a former NXT champion, a former United States champion, and a former multiple-time tag team champion here in the WWE. But looking to accomplish the task of becoming the first big gold champion, the world heavyweight champion, upon its return to the WWE. Only going to get the chance to do it if you can get through Ali here tonight. The big gold belt has been held by so many greats throughout WCW and the NWA and here in the WWE. A championship that's been held by the likes of John Cena, by Ric Flair, The Undertaker, Edge, Batista, Triple H, The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. The list goes on and on of the great legends and Hall of Famers that have held the World Heavyweight Championship. All these men trying to add their name to those to that legendary list of superstars. Ali catching Rude with the DDT, sends him down to the canvas. San Antonio on fire tonight yet again after two weeks of action here for Friday Night SmackDown. Springboard, Tornado, DDT, Ali has found himself a groove in this matchup. May have spoke too soon there as Rude gets the double knees up. Ali trying to make sure Rude can't mount some offense. Rude trying to do the same. Grabbing a hold of the competitor, whips him off into the corner. Here comes Rude, full head of steam, collapsing Mustafa Ali in the corner. Robert Rude, just a, a real throwback inside of that ring. A lot of old school professional wrestling tactics in the repertoire of Robert Rude, just the way he carries himself. Gotta imagine Robert Rude would be just the perfect fit to wrap that big gold classic championship around the waist of. Could be on his way, but not watching the ring awareness there. Mustafa Ali's leg, foot rather, underneath the bottom rope. Now Bobby Roode has really taken control and slowed down the pace of this matchup. Ali was going for some high-risk maneuvers. We saw him really pulling out some of his best offense against Roode. But Roode, again, slowing down the pace of this contest here, fighting his matchup, applying his strategy to move on to the World Championship matchup. The SmackDown All-Star kickoff on December the 9th. Rude beating down Mustafa Ali here. Things have really taken a change in this contest. Of course, also still to come tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. As advertised last week, we are going to get the debut of L.A. Knight from NXT. Ali comes off the top rope. L.A. Knight drafted to SmackDown a few weeks ago in the WWE draft. Officially arrives on Friday night here tonight on SmackDown. Ali trying to go for the cover there. Rude still got fight in him. And Rude, beautiful neck breaker there. That's something we've seen Mustafa Ali pull out of his repertoire there. That fall away neck breaker. Bobby Rude knows how to apply just as well. And a forearm shot there takes Ali off his feet. Ali was starting to mount some offense there again. There again excuse me, but Bobber, Bobby Rude able to battle back again. Trying to slow down the pace of Mustafa Ali. Make sure he cannot use those high-risk maneuvers to his advantage. And Ali with the counter. Nice and Seguri on Bobby Roode. Is Mustafa Ali going to punch his ticket to the All-Star kickoff? Unloading on Roode here. Ali's looking good. Finally hits that senton. He looked for it a few moments ago in this matchup. Roode got that ease up. That's really what turned the tide. Was able to hit it, but Root again able to cut Mustafa Ali off. What's it going to take to move on to join Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins in the four-way next week? Root bridges into the cover, but Ali gets the shoulder up. Finn Balor, John Cena later tonight. 
Robert Roode, Mustafa Ali right now. Two spots remaining. Who's going to join McIntyre and Rollins in Las Vegas and Sin City for the World Heavyweight Championship? Right now, Robert Roode has got to be in the driver's seat. He's got Ali on the top rope. Normally, Ali feels comfortable up there, but not in this sense as Roode with the superplex, dead center of the ring, goes Ali. This match is all Robert Roode these last few minutes. Ever since Mustafa Ali... Or I should say, every time Mustafa Ali trying to mount some offense, the glorious one right there to cut him off. There he goes again. Reversal. Goes behind. Does Ali. Backstabber takes Root off his feet. Does Ali got it in him to get past Robert Root tonight to qualify for the All-Star kickoff matchup next week on SmackDown. Root goes down. Oh, no. Ali on the outside here. Rolls through. Oh, but what a counter by Bobby Root. Ali was looking for that X Factor, but Rude countered into the Spine Buster. And that may be all she wrote here. No, Ali survives. Big time counter from Robert Rude. And Mustafa Ali digging down deep, showing the heart, showing the resilience. Able to get the shoulder off the canvas right there. But Robert Rude drops the elbow. Ali is in deep trouble right now. May have missed his best opportunity in this contest. Well, there you go. Can't count Ali out. We've seen this man go toe-to-toe -to -toe and defeat Seth Rollins inside a steel cage at SummerSlam. We've seen Mustafa Ali pick up victories over Austin Theory, over John Cena on Monday Night Raw. Ali has rewritten his career this year for the better and looking to move to the next level. Next week on SmackDown, faking Rude out right there. Very smart by Ali. Look at that drop kick. And Rude knows that Ali... It's starting to mount some offense. Going to the outside, trying to distract the competitor there. Throwing him back inside the ring. Ali outsmarted Rude, was able to get behind him for that drop kick. But now Robert Rude instead goes behind and drops the knee to the back. But a matchup we have kicking you off from San Antonio tonight on SmackDown. Oh, look at this. Swinging neck breaker. And those neck breakers really starting to add up. Root has hit multiple of them throughout this matchup. Different variations. And Ali's got to be feeling it at this point. And again, Robert Root dropping that devastating elbow. We've seen it a few times in this contest. Goes for the cover, but again, Mustafa Ali gets the shoulder up at the last second. The heart and soul of this young man. Nobody can question it. Root drops the knee from the middle rope. And Bobby Roode is feeling himself here in San Antonio. Ali is in trouble. Roode is all offense right now. Roode, nice step. Suplex takes Ali down. It's now or never for Ali to get back into this fight. And just as we say it, there's a counter from Ali. Hits the drop kick again. Ali knows what works. He goes to the well with what works and delivers flush. Goes for the kick. Rude counters, though. He's really got Ali scattered in this matchup. Do you like Rude or not, you got to give him credit. He did his homework on Mustafa Ali. And now Ali may be in trouble here. Rude's tying them all up for that glorious slam in the middle of the ring. And then maybe all she wrote it, it is. A great effort by Mustafa Ali. But tonight belongs to the glorious Robert Roode. And with that victory, of course, Robert Roode has officially punched his ticket to the all-star kickoff. Three men have qualified, and one more remains. Rollins, McIntyre, Roode, all on their way to compete for the World Heavyweight Championship. Who is gonna join them? We are gonna find out later tonight. It's the Prince Finn Balor versus the franchise John Cena World Championship Series continues. Well, we are back live inside the AT&T Center, San Antonio, Texas, a great host of Friday Night SmackDown last week. And once again tonight, Isaiah Swerve Scott in the ring and he is set to go one-on-one. -on -one with the newest draft pick from NXT, now making his way to Friday Night SmackDown. The loudmouth, the defiant. It's a fact of life that LA Knight is officially a part of the blue brand. And here he comes. And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, 
weighing in at 240 pounds, L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight drafted to Friday Night SmackDown a part of the WWE draft a number of weeks ago. A former member of the NXT roster actually held the million dollar championship at one point down in NXT. LA Knight's a loud mouth, but he knows how to get it done from bell to bell. And he is officially part of Friday Night SmackDown, set to make his debut on the road to the All-Star kickoff next week on SmackDown. Big night for LA Knight and a big opportunity for Isaiah Swerve Scott. Swerve's from really down the last number of months, picking up a couple of losses, and really a chance to make a name for himself all over again here tonight on SmackDown. All eyes are on LA Knight. It's his debut. Swerve's got to take advantage, catch LA Knight off guard, and possibly pick up the victory here for the Swerve. And oh, speaking of catching off advantage, pump kick. Swerve's going to upset him here, and LA Knight gets the shoulder up. But there you go. Isaiah Swerve Scott bringing the fight to LA Knight right off the opening bell. Swerve has competed for the Cruiserweight Championship in recent history. Unfortunately for him, came up short. I believe the last time we saw Swerve was on Monday Night Raw in a losing effort to carry and cross a number of months ago. But tonight, a new opportunity for the Swerve. He's going one-on-one -on -one with L.A. Knight, but L.A. Knight outruns him there. A powerful clothesline from the Defiant Knight. Very impressive is this man from bell to bell. We're going to witness it all here on SmackDown. Swerve came out with the element of surprise right after the opening bell, but it may have just pissed off his opponent in L.A. Knight. Looking to make an impact on his first night of the blue brand. Might go for the cover on Swerve. And Swerve able to get the shoulder up. And LA Knight, look at this springboard. Crossbody to the back. Normally Swerve's the one flying around the ring. But tonight, LA Knight, again, looking to make a name for himself here in San Antonio. With Swerve up and goes down the Swerve. May have been a knockout blow if I ever saw one. Swerve is dazed and confused. L.A. Knight just makes him eat the canvas for dinner. And that may be all she wrote. Yes, it is. L.A. Knight picks up the victory in his debut on Friday Night SmackDown. Swerve came in with a strategy to try to catch L.A. Knight off his game, but unfortunately, L.A. Knight was all too prepared for Isaiah Swerve Scott. That man is going to be a factor. Wait a minute, wait a minute. LA Knight, wait a minute, the match is over. Come on now. A beatdown on the swerve. LA Knight trying to make sure everybody in this arena and everybody around the world remembers the name LA Knight. Not only picking up the victory, but laying waste to the swerve on Friday Night SmackDown. Well, the action continues in San Antonio. Tag Team Affair as Alpha Academy takes on Lucha House Party. Plus, Dexter Loomis arrives from NXT to take on Happy Corbin. And the results of those matchups see Chad Gable and Otis of Alpha Academy defeating Kalisto and Lince Dorado of Lucha House Party. And in his SmackDown debut, also drafted from NXT, Dexter Loomis picks up the victory against Happy Corbin on SmackDown. We are back inside the arena, and Cameron Grimes is in the house. And Grimes set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Cruiserweight Champion Ricochet, but we have breaking news regarding the Cruiserweight Championship. Next week on the All-Star Kickoff Friday Night SmackDown after his win last week, the Hurricane has got himself a number one contendership, and he will challenge Ricochet for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World on December the 9th at the All-Star Kickoff. Big opportunity for the Hurricane next week, but a big opportunity for Cameron Grimes here tonight, officially a part of the SmackDown roster as well. And hell, a win over Ricochet could absolutely put Cameron Grimes in line for future championship opportunity. But this man, the one and only Ricochet, has been atop the Cruiserweight division since June 26th of this year, and no signs of slowing down anytime soon. The one, the only, Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Ricochet, is in the house. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, 
The SmackDown All-Star Kickoff comes your way Friday night, December the 9th. It is a live premiere event at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and this man, Ricochet, will defend the Cruiserweight Championship against the new number one contender, The Hurricane. Ricochet hot off the heels of the Survivor Series pay-per-view a number of weeks ago, where he retained the Cruiserweight Championship over previous number one contender, Roderick Strong. Ricochet also owns victories in the last number of months against Santos Escobar, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Chad Gable, Wes Lee. Ricochet been atop the Cruiserweight division, as we mentioned, since SummerSlam in June, June 26th to be exact. And the momentum continues to roll on for Ricochet, but will Cameron Grimes spoil the party for the one and only here tonight? Looking to derail some of the one and only's momentum, as he's already set to defend the gold next week on SmackDown. As we mentioned, Cameron Grimes with a big opportunity tonight. Whether it's for the Cruiserweight Championship or not, a win over Ricochet can absolutely make a name for Cameron Grimes here on SmackDown. And it can absolutely put him in line for a future championship opportunity. Look at this, Cameron Grimes got Ricochet. Spins him inside out with a power bomb right there. Very impressive from Cameron Grimes. He's made a few appearances on the main roster, officially a part of SmackDown through the draft and through the cruiserweight division. But Cameron Grimes now really trying to make it, make sure everybody in San Antonio knows just who the hell he is. Taking the fight to the cruiserweight champion. Ricochet has taken on any and all comers these last couple of months. I'm sure he ain't no stranger to this kind of fight, but Cameron Grimes throwing Ricochet into the steel steps, now throwing him over the barricade down to the concrete. Any means necessary to try to get your hand raised here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. For Ricochet, there's always the possibility that he's already got his mind on the Hurricane next week. Cameron Grimes could be looking to take care, or should, should say take advantage of a opportunity and throw Ricochet off his game here. But Ricochet, you notice, dodged the super kick, then a beautiful springboard moonsault. Now the champion going to the top rope. Nobody does it like Ricochet in there. Human highlight reel, beautiful Hurricane Rana. And follows it up with the shooting star press. There is no man on this earth that can do what the one and only does inside the squared circle. Impresses each and every time he's in there. Now Ricochet has taken over this contest. Cameron Grimes was in it to win it in the first few moments, but the Cruiserweight Champion all over his opponent here and a super kick for good measures. Net of the outside, springboard, 450 splash from the Cruiserweight Champion. And Ricochet picks up the victory here tonight on SmackDown. A quick but always exciting performance from the human highlight reel known as your Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Here is your winner, Ricochet! The Hurricane's a former Cruiserweight Champion in his own right, a legend in his own right, but he's going to have his hands full with this man next week. Ricochet, Hurricane, Cruiserweight Championships on the line on the All-Star Kickoff. It is coming your way Friday, December the 9th. It is a live premiere event at 5 p.m. Eastern time right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. SmackDown All-Star Kickoff. And already signed for the event, the Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line. The man who you just saw inside the squared circle, the one and only Ricochet, defends the gold against the number one contender, the Hurricane. And also signed for SmackDown next week, it is the debut of Imperium's Walter the longest reigning NXT United Kingdom champion arrives at the All-Star Kickoff. And ladies and gentlemen, we have announced the eight-man over-the-top battle royal to crown a brand new United States champion. Look at the field at hand. The United States Championship officially a part of Friday Night SmackDown, and it will find its rightful holder next week. But it is main event time from San Antonio, Texas. The AT&T Center has played host to all four of these qualifying matchups. It's time to decide who gets the last spot for the World Championship. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring 
from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! He is a 16-time WWE World Champion. He has held the big gold belt before on numerous occasions. John Cena chasing number 17, looking to bring home the gold yet again next week. But he's only going to get that opportunity if he can make his way through the Prince Finn Balor tonight and march on his way to Las Vegas Sin City for the All-Star kickoff. It's the first time John Cena is in action since picking up a victory at Survivor Series against Raw's Austin Theory in a last man standing match. A story that really brought John Cena back to the squared circle after some time away. A story that has really written John Cena's life over the last number of months. But now a loop, new leash on his career and a new opportunity at hand. A part of the blue brand on Friday Night SmackDown. Cena has done battle with Finn Balor in the past. Cena owns a victory over Finn Balor in the past. But that was many years ago. Finn Balor is a different man. He's a better man. He's a tougher competitor. John Cena. Many can argue he's at the top of his game. Many may even argue that John Cena isn't the same man he once was. A very interesting scenario, very interesting dynamic as these two men are getting ready to lock horns. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn you got to wonder where the psyche of the Prince Finn Balor is at tonight. It was last week on Friday Night SmackDown that Finn Balor, as well as his protege, A-Kid, went 2v2 in a tag team matchup against Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura. And Balor caught off guard in that match, knocked Boogs off the apron only to crash and land, crash and burn, I should say, off the coup de grace. Nakamura got out of the way, hit Balor with the Kinshasa, and it was all she wrote. Nakamura and Boogs walked away with the victory last week awarding Finn Balor and A-Kid a loss. So you gotta wonder where Finn Balor's mind's at tonight. He's gotta put that loss behind him and he's gotta set focus on John Cena. And if he doesn't, then there will be no world championship opportunity for the Prince. A former multiple time NXT champion, the first ever WWE Universal Champion, former Intercontinental United States Champion. Balor has had a decorated career thus far in the WWE. But imagine the big gold belt around the waist of the Prince. That is very much an opportunity at hand here tonight. Big fight feel here in San Antonio as we've talked about already tonight, already qualified for the four-man elimination matchup that'll take place on December the 9th. Seth freaking Rollins, the Scottish psychopath, Drew McIntyre. And as we found out earlier tonight, the glorious Robert Roode. So who is going to get the final spot? Will it be the Prince or will it be the franchise? Is Finn Balor going to be looking to become the World Heavyweight Champion or is John Cena going to be chasing number 17? It is time to find out. Main event time in San Antonio. The bell has sounded and we are underway. Big fight feel. Who's going to get the upper hand in these first few moments? They're so crucial to the long game and a matchup. And look at Balor here immediately. Shining wizard on John Cena. Balor again. You got to wonder what his strategy is going to be, where his mind's at after that loss last week. Now Cena sit out, already going for the pinfall. Balor kicks out. It's also an interesting situation, too, with the All-Star kickoff fastly approaching next week. Neither one of these men, if they are victorious tonight, want to do so in risking injury. They want to go into that matchup as fresh as possible. Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins getting that extra week to rest. Robert Roode and whoever wins this matchup here only getting one week to rest. Could play into a factor when it comes into who's going to be 100% and who might not be 100% going into that four-man elimination matchup. There will not be one fall to a finish. Three superstars are going to have to fall, and we will have one true undisputed world champion next week on SmackDown. Who is going to fly the flag for the blue brand. Cena dipping and dodging Balor here, but Balor able to catch it with the swing blade and a drop kick classic from the Prince. Now Cena trying to mount some offense. Again, this is John Cena's first match back in action since the Survivor Series pay-per-view where he picked up the victory over all day. Austin Theory concluding a near five, six-month rivalry 
between John Cena and Austin Theory. Cena sending Theory through the announce table off an attitude adjustment. Picked him up just to deliver one last knockout blow. And Cena was the last man standing in his hometown of Boston on that night. So Cena riding a wave of momentum now, part of SmackDown, looking to chase number 17 next week if he can get through the Prince tonight. Nice Lou Fez on Balor, taking Balor down. Let's see who's going to get the upper hand as this matchup rolls on. Balor pushing Cena off there, trying to make sure he avoids any of that franchise offense. Now Cena trying to do the same. Put a back and forth between these two men here with this opportunity at stake. Cena now, a shot, and follows it up with a drop kick. Not something we see too often out of John Cena. But as we've been seeing throughout this matches the last two weeks, these world championship qualifiers, everybody throwing a little bit of uncharacteristic offense in their repertoire, all with the opportunity to move on to the all-star kickoff on the line. Now the fight continues on the outside of the ring. Billers, or excuse me, Ballers got Cena all tied up. Obviously can't tap out Cena for a victory here, but certainly can do more damage. On the outside premises of the square circle, and Cena trying to make sure to avoid injury here. Sends Balor into the apron. And John Cena gonna head back inside. Gonna wait Finn Balor. This main event matchup rolls on. What a card we have set for you next week, a part of the All-Star kickoff, the debut of the longest reigning NXT UK champion, Imperium's Walter, drafted to SmackDown along with his Imperium tag team partners. Walter will be arriving on the blue brand next week on the All-Star kickoff. Of course, the Cruiserweight Championship, as mentioned, going to be on the line. Ricochet in the Hurricane. And then, of course, the eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal to determine the new United States champion. Happy Corbin, Apollo Crews, Dexter Loomis, Jeff Hardy, Elias, Dolph Ziggler, Mustafa Ali, and Bobby Lashley. Eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal. The winner is walking out the brand-new United States champion. All that and more coming your way on the All-Star kickoff for SmackDown next week. We continue on here with Balor versus Cena. And of course, what will conclude that epic night in Sin City will be the four-man elimination matchup for the World Heavyweight Championship, which Balor's looking to move on to, dropping the knee from the heavens. And that could be all she wrote. Into the cover goes Finn Balor here, but Cena able to get the shoulder up. And Cena dropping Balor with the clothesline. You smell a sense of urgency in the franchise player now. Cena has held the World Heavyweight Championship before, won it for the first time in 2008 at the Survivor Series with a victory over Chris Jericho. Also won it just a few months later at WrestleMania 25 in Houston in April of 2009, defeating Edge and The Big Show. Cena has held the big gold. World Heavyweight Championship in the past. He's looking to do it again. Cena now. Got Balor on the top rope. Superplex. We'll see to be able to capitalize here. Balor down the middle of the ring. Gotta wonder the condition of Balor after getting his lights knocked out by Nakamura last week. Is Balor come to this matchup 100% or not? Nice right hand. Well, Balor, look at this. Got Cena all tied up. Slams him down to the canvas with the 1916. Balor into the cover. Is Balor moving on to the All-Star kickoff? Not just yet as Cena survives. Back and forth we go in your Friday Night SmackDown main event from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas. And Balor, what a discus clothesline. My goodness. Now Balor go to the top, could have been looking for the coup de grace, but John Cena knows that, trying to avoid it at all costs. Cena obviously with the strength advantage in this match, Balor with the speed advantage. Balor whipping Cena, or excuse me, Cena whipping Balor off and drops it with the clothesline. Now John Cena going to the top rope. Not something we see too often out of the franchise, but again, as we mentioned earlier, any means necessary for a world title opportunity. Misses for the crossbody though. Not able to connect off that maneuver. But Cena slams Finn Balor down. Hits the ropes. What has John Cena got in mind? Headed to the top rope. Balor dazed again. I think Cena wants to make up for that crossbody. And this time he hits it. John Cena's feeling himself in San Antonio. But will he be moving on to Sin City? 
Knockout shot to the gut of Finn Balor. Balor trying to fight back on John Cena. He feels the match slipping away from him and drops John Cena basically on his neck. And Balor into the cover, and that may have been enough. Balor's moving on to the All-Star, kicked off not just yet as Cena survives again in this matchup. We've got one hell of a main event on our hands. The speed and the strikes of Finn Balor. The strength and the brawling of John Cena. Who is going to outlast the other? Balor go to the top rope. Looking for coup de gras. John Cena knows that again. Trying to avoid it at all costs. Balor with the counter. Balor making his way in the ring, but that gives John Cena a moment's rest. Grabs a hold. What a big boot from the franchise. These guys going tit for tat right now. Who is going to be the last man standing, though? Cena's unloading on Balor at the current moment. All for the opportunity to call yourself the world heavyweight champion and the face of Friday Night SmackDown. Cena whips Balor off. Oh no, Balor is dazed and confused and John Cena's wheels are turning. Cena's got something in mind here, possibly a super, wait a minute, no. Cena's got him up. Oh my goodness. Super attitude adjustment for the second rope. Cena into the cover. John Cena is on his way to Las Vegas next week on SmackDown. Thought he was going for another superplex, but John Cena had something else in mind. A super attitude adjustment from the middle rope. Balor went for a ride damn near halfway across the ring. And that is all she wrote in this contest for the Prince. John Cena punching his ticket to Sin City. Here is your winner, John Cena! A hard fought win for the franchise here tonight in San Antonio. It's been a legendary career for John Cena, 16 world championships, but he is officially on his way to chasing number 17. And there you see it. The men that have qualified, Finn Balor fades to black, and we now know our main event for the All-Star kickoff. Coming your way December the 9th, Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins, Robert Roode, John Cena. It is Friday, December the 9th, SmackDown's All-Star kickoff live premiere at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Who is going to be the World Heavyweight Champion? They saw when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.